What's up guys, Ben here from Culture Kiwi. So I'm here today to talk about sensor cleaning. It's a bit of a problem that you run into from time to time if you're shooting on cameras, uh, constantly changing lenses and things like this. Eventually, the sensor will get dirty. So today, I'm gonna teach you how to clean it. We can see here websites such as Jessup's will do the cleaning for 30 pounds for a two day service. And not only is that 30 pound, it's a two day service. Two days without your camera, if you're a professional photographer, could be devastating. You can see here they've got an image of what it looks like before and after. I think this is a little bit exaggerated, but anyway. How do we know if we need to clean our sensor? Well, here's an image that I've taken with mine on what I thought was a clean wall, but turns out when you look at it in high resolution it's it's not as clean as I thought it was. But what you do is you set your camera up on a tripod, you point it at a white surface, you want to aim for the edge of something close to it so you can focus on that sort of wall at the correct distance. Then you want to set the aperture to the highest aperture possible uh, f22 which just makes sure that everything's in focus. You want to make sure you have a two second timer on to stop any vibration and set it to ISO 100 so there's no sensor noise coming into it. And then you want to take a photo then load it up into your computer. And what we have here is an image that my sensor has captured and you can see here uh, so while there's your regular sort of wall dirt here and here and here we can see here there's a bit of sensor dust you see it's it's not on the wall it's, it's in front of the wall here's another bit here's another bit and this is highly important if you're into taking especially stock photography or anything like that because you have to constantly remove this dust from the image as you post the images online and it, it becomes a lot of work time and time again removing sensor dust so why not just get rid of it once i found the solution online instead of paying 30 bucks you can pay 10 quid 10 bucks 16 uh, in the us i'll put the links down below if you want to buy these yourself um, it's an affiliate link so i'll get a small commission but it's, it's next to nothing but every little bit helps when you're putting out these videos. Uh, and what they are is these little swabs that you can use to clean the sensor. I'll show you how to do it right now. I've got my camera here. I've got clean hands. This is important just to make sure you don't worsen the problem. Uh, and what you want to do now is go into the menu and you want to head to sensor cleaning and you want to go into clean manually. And what that'll do is lock up the mirror and explain to you that when you're finished you can switch the camera off. Now we turn the camera back around, we open our lens up and we can see that the sensor is exposed there for us. Now you can't see the dust in there, it's, it's almost impossible. We now take our little sensor cleaning swab, open that and remove it from the pouch. Put it into the camera on an angle and then straighten it up as we get in closer to the sensor. Gently but firmly touch the sensor and just slowly wipe across the sensor. And that's it. Just like that, we have theoretically removed all of our sensor dust from the sensor. So let's put the lens back on and see what happens. As soon as we've cleaned the sensor, we put the lens back on, we take it back over to the tripod, we set it up and we take the same photo we took before with the same settings and then we bring it back into the computer and have a look. We take the first photo and we compare it to the second photo. And you see here, I have my first photo that I brought in straight from the camera and here is the second one. And just after that one swipe, you can see that all of our major dust problems here, here, have vanished. Some small flex less that I could probably get if I did a second pass with the lens cleaning kit, but I think that generally I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, the difference is, is quite staggering. See, even here, there's some that's gone. If I spot the difference, the pictures are slightly in different places. Here, again, takes all of five minutes and we've done it. Just like that. So, if you want to get the kit to clean your lens, there's two links below, whether you're in the UK or US, if you're outside of those areas, I recommend just having a look through any of your local online distributors. 
Uh, and if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more videos like this, you can hit subscribe. Thanks for watching.